Okay, today we are reviewing the distance formula, and of course, you remember the distance formula, uh, but I'm going to explain it anyway for you today. Here, here we go. So, I have two points. Point A, which is that it has coordinates 1, 2, and B, which has coordinates 16, 10. And you might recall the easiest way to find a distance between two any two given points is to basically make your slope triangle and make the distance that you want the hypotenuse. So let's just do that. Let's make a slope triangle that goes from A to B. And of course, um, I don't know. that has to be a right triangle. And we need to know what that point is, that, that vertex. That vertex, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it C. It is directly across from A. So it has an x value. Well, I don't know the x value right now, but I do know the y value must be 2. The x value, though, is directly below B, so that must be the 16. So there, we have the x value and the y value of the vertex. So now we can figure out the two sides, so we can eventually find the distance from A to B. Okay, uh, from A to C would be 1, 2 to 16, 2. That's going to be from 1 to 16. That's just basically 16 minus 1, which equals to 15. From B to C is 10 minus 2, which is 8. So now we have two sides. We just need to solve for the third side. So AC is a hypotenuse. And in our Pythagorean theorem, it's uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. There's a hypotenuse, which a squ c squared is going to be equal to 8 squared plus 15 squared. All right? And then we just simply solve that a c squared is going to be equal to 64 plus 225. And that's going to give me uh, 289. And because we're in geometry and we're dealing with the positive square roots, we can, we can square root both sides. And I don't have to worry about the negative because it is at a distance. So this AC would be equal to the square root of 289. And if you didn't know, that's actually a perfect square. That's a 17. Now we have the distance from A to B. Well, you know, maybe uh, we should look at this in a more generalized fashion. So here's my A and a B. And A has coordinates x1, y1, B has coordinates x2, y2. Once again, we're going to do it in the same fashion. We are going to make our slope triangle coordinates of C directly below the B has the same B value, excuse me, the same X value as B, and directly across from A has the same Y value as A. All right. Our side lengths now of our right triangle would be from A to C, they have the same Y, so this is just X2 minus X1. The other leg would be the, the difference of the y's, y2 minus y1. And our distance, well, there's the, that's the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So that's a, b squared is equal to this leg squared. Plus this leg squared. Now that looks just like what we did and it is the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Um, if, but this is not my distance per se, that's the, my distance squared. The distance formula would look more like this. If we square root both sides, then we get the distance formula from A to B would be equal to the square root of the difference of the x's squared plus 
the difference of the y squared. And remember, it doesn't matter if this turns out to be a negative, because we're just going to square it. If it turns out that the difference is a negative 5, negative 5 squared is going to be 25. So, we'll put do some more of those, in, and uh, you will have no problem figuring out the distance. All right, now let's get into the fun stuff of today's lesson. We're going to talk about how the distance formula helps us with an equation of a circle. And I have written down the definition of a circle. Uh, a circle is a set of all coplanar co points of a given distance from a given point. So, look at that. Distance. We A given distance from a given point. And we just did the distance formula. Hey, so maybe this is going to work. So, the given point, that's our center. And in this case, our center is at 0, 0, the origin. Our given distance is 10 because we know that that point is at 10, 0. If it's 10 for the radius, this would be at 0, 10, and this would be at 0, negative 10. Well, great. But that's not an equation of a circle. But we have a distance formula which says that it's going to be, you know, AB is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's our difference. Well, for the equation of a circle, there's, there's an infinite amount of points at that given distance. Well, what is that given distance? That given distance is my radius. And in this case, it's my 10. Okay. Well, what are they all equal distance from? The center. The zero, zero. So, I'm going to write it as x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared. Because there's all these points are anywhere in here. There's an x and a y. And if 10 away, 10 away, then it is on that circle. And that's pretty amazing. Now, that's that. we can make this prettier by getting rid of this radical. If we square both sides, actually, 100 is equal to an x minus 0. I mean, we could, I'll write it as this. But you know that x minus 0 is just simply x, and y minus 0 is simply y. So that would really simplify to that. Fantastic, right? That's your equation for a circle with radius 10 centered at the origin. But of course, not all circles are centered at the origin. So this time, I have got a circle centered at 5, 3, and I'm telling you that the radius is 4 and a half. All right? Well, you're thinking, okay, now I've really made it difficult for you, but yet I haven't. There are an infinite amount of points, an x and a y. Right? Distance formula. They are a set distance. That distance is going to be 4.5. Right? Is equal to the square root of x minus what are we what are we equidistant from? The center. X minus oh there's my x. Five squared plus y minus, oh, the 3 squared. Now, normally we don't have the radicals in the equation of the circle, so we're going to have to square that side. Uh, 4.5 squared turns out to be 20.25 is equal to x minus 5 quantity squared plus y minus 3 squared. And that's your equation for that circle. Fantastic. All you need to do is just look at it and, it should, and you see right there, that is my radius, but it's 
been altered. It's been squared. So that's my radius squared. That and that are my values for my center. And of course, if they happen to be, if it was shifted over to the negative, that would change that to an x plus 5. So there's my center, x value of the center. The center is right there. So, the, in general, the equation for a circle with radius r and centered at hk can be written as r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And I'd really like you to have, have write it in this fashion. Here we go with the problems for today. Here we go. Uh, find the distance between each pair of points. So there's your your x and y, x and y. Find the distance between those points. And number two, two different points. Write the equation for the circle that's centered at negative two, positive three, and has a radius of eight. That's a problem. And separately, a centered at five, negative eight, with radius root seven. Good luck. See you tomorrow.